Here she is. Next project. <laughs> oh, happy days, eh? Look at that. Oops, she's alive. Yes, look at that. Look at how quiet it is. Beautiful. It's rest in place now for a couple of weeks, months while we repair the car. So yep, this is my first first EV actually. Um I've driven a couple of Teslas in the past, but I've never owned an EV. I tell you what, it's gorgeous inside. I really love this interior. This is what really sold it for me was these Alcantara seats with um, all the stitching. So you get this in the, well, this is a GT Line Premium Pack. Um, so this is the top of the range model. In fact, the only thing it might be missing might be a, a sunroof. Uh, but when I did read the spec sheet, um, if you did get a sunroof option or select the option, uh, it's a manual pull cover. Oh, who wants to do that? So um, yeah, I, I really like this actually. It's uh, I don't typically use the sunroof or the pano panoramic roofs in the other cars, so yeah, really happy with this. But, yeah, it is. <laughs> Kevin holes everywhere. It's, yes, that's gorgeous. It's got this really cool dashboard. I haven't seen it as yet. Oh wow, look at that! I don't see that well on the camera, but it's almost like a like a hologram effect. On the screen um, and almost look like layers um, to it as well so that's oh, pretty worth it that and then you got the larger 10 inch screen here so I can just Battery's dead. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. These are all the parts in the back. Literally everything. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Look at that. It's come with his own pond. Lovely. So I'm gonna have to wet fax that out. Let's go. Uh, thankfully this side is dry. Thumbs right as well, slightly. Nice. Yep. Lovely. <laughs> I think the windows may be left open. I don't know. But they're all shut, all closed. But yeah, there's water in the full well. Lovely. It's probably one of my first jobs actually, strip everything out of the car. Yeah, it's been left windows been left open at some point. Strip out all the parts that are just sat in the car, uh, make sure everything's there. One thing I've have not seen as yet in my initial check over is the um it's the power cable the charging cable um so i want to find that um and then get in touch with copart if i can't cannot find it um so yeah strip it now and uh, see if there's any bits missing or what bits we need to order i think quite obviously we need to order new rear bumper rear tailgate this is all crash cracked in, rear driver light, um, slam panel as well, and um, that's what else we need. I have to check if this is detachable, this grill, yep it is, so we'll have to order a new grill. Yeah, it's been broken there in the bumper, but we might be able to salvage that, it's really small, so I think we should be able to salvage that. Half an hour bumper on the front is in good nick. It just looks like it's all been ripped apart for the assessor. But yeah, this is the, the new project car. So yeah, let's, let's get stuck in.
the jumble sale in here. Full of all the parts. So what I'm gonna do now is just rip it all out. Um, see what salvageable lineup where things go so we know exactly what we need and if there's any bits that are missing from here and then we should be able to then look to kick off the build. of front bumper bolts. They've all managed to go on the driver's seat. These are very nice. Thankfully not scagged anything. But I did notice his, I think I know these jabbing the back of my ass when I was sat here earlier. Yeah, the car does need a good one. A good vacuum. Say I'll go buy a Fredo, but I don't think they're 10, 15 p anymore. It's more like a pound for Fredo. Yeah, right, so yeah. So you got this Arcantara suede and leather trim. Front bumper, I need a new grill. I need a new grill for the front, so I want to see how much those cost. Other than the bumper looks good. So yeah, we need a new grill for the front, a new bumper, a rear slam panel. New one of these, new tailgate, and the arch covers. Um, and then, I see it's in the house. The charging cable. So I need the core co-part because it was in the car on my virtual viewing and it was in the advert. So I need to give him a call and find out where that may have sprouted legs and ran out of the car. So I imagine it was there when I left the depot, but I need to check and give him a call and see where that is. Um, so yeah. Other than putting his jigsaw puzzle back together and see where everything goes. Um, yeah, pretty to be good. So the damage, this piece here, it's got a slight kink. This is a single layer skin. So I should, ooh, all the way up here actually, all this downwards, it's just a single, la single layer of metal. So should be able to manipulate that back into shape. Um, and then this then has obviously had, a, had the impact um, again, surprisingly, um, this is one skin and then onto the structure itself, but look, look at this, it's all bending. So this is just cosmetic tin. Um, so what I will try to do is ma manipulate and pull it back out into shape, uh, make sure it all lines up nicely. Um, so I'll probably give it a pull here, um, warm this up and push, pull it out and then see what we're left with. So yeah. So yeah, new build on the channel. Um, <sighs> pretty excited for this one. Never, never owned an EV before. Um, so this is a learning curve. Um, never owned a Peugeot and the display it looks completely different to, to the BMW, but I really like the instrument cluster. 
Uh, it's got a sort of hologram 3D cockpit uh, style, uh, which looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, guys, keep in touch, like and subscribe. Um, any thoughts, comments, what do you think of the car? Um, do you think the damage is really bad? What do you think is actually fairly easy repair? Um, let me know. Um, quite keen to hear what you think. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited by this build. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, see you in the next video.